In this video, I'm gonna be bring, bringing you one of my favorite <clears throat> and most underrated routes out of the Gun Bunge in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. And I just released a free sample of my Gun Bunge offense via my text message membership. And so if you're looking um, to get better at the gun bunch or learn a little bit more about it, I put together a hour and five minute breakdown that I gave away for free in my text message membership. So if you wanna get access to that, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, if you want me to send you that, as well as um, in my text message membership right now, I've got a one hour uh, breakdown on the 335 odd, and I've also got a one hour breakdown on the gun bunch. So if you wanna get those two videos together for free, as well as all of the content that we release every single week in our text message membership, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Now this play in the red zone, there's a couple different ways that we can run this and set this up, but I absolutely love this concept this year, um, better than I think it's ever been, and that's the inside cross. So what we're gonna be focusing in, out, uh, in on is the C route to the left side. So we're gonna come out an inside cross here, and I'm just gonna come out in a cover three first. It's actually probably the best against cover three. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna smart route the C route. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna take my running back uh, on this play, or I'm sorry, not my running back on this play. Uh, I'm gonna take my, my uh, circle receiver, and I'm gonna put him on a flat route. And then I'm gonna take my R1 receiver, and I'm gonna put him on a drag. So you see here, this is very similar to double post, um, but all we're gonna do is motion the circle receiver to the outside. And what you're gonna notice here is the square receiver is going to absolutely play, play big on that left side of the screen. Now another, there's several different ways we can set this up um, in terms of the other routes. I'm just gonna focus for the next couple of minutes on this route to, uh, to the square receiver because this is the main route I wanna show. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna basically, when he cuts to the left side, we're just gonna highball it. And typically you're gonna be able to essentially possession catch the ball on the right side of the screen. Another one of my favorite little things to do with my running back is to put him on a streak. I find this really does help this play. But you see, that's what we're looking for. And that's the animation that I've been getting probably about 95% of the time whenever I run this play. As long as I put the running back on a streak or a table or an out route or something uh, to that side of the field. Now where this play really shines, in my opinion, is what it does to Tampa 2. You're gonna see here, Tampa 2 is not gonna stand a chance. And honestly, Tampa 2 is one of the defenses that I've been starting to see the most because of how good of a job Tampa 2 does against things like corner routes or um, like little wheel routes or whatever to the outside. So you see here again, just high ball, easy read against Tampa 2. So we're able to beat Tampa 2. We're able to beat Mike Blitz 3 or cover three. And then now I wanna show man to man. A man to man is probably the most common defense uh, that you're gonna get. And you're gonna see that this actually does a really good job. Once he gets the outside, he's just going to get this nice secure catch animation on the outside. So I can now beat man coverage uh, inside the red zone. For example, I'm gonna go to Mike Blitz zero here and I'm just gonna max protect, but I'm smart routing the square receiver. He cuts to the outside. And you see, I can do this little, um, I, you want to wait for him, especially in man coverage. You want to wait just a little bit extra for him to get some outside leverage. Um, Cause again, this game is all about leverage. So cuts in, now he goes out. Now if they, you know, the sheds in practice mode, classic practice mode, they're just so crazy. Um, it makes it so hard. Uh, so I'm just going to take these guys off. And again, this is a practice mode thing. You're not gonna get sheds like that in game, especially if you max protect. Um, so anyways, I just primarily wanna show you this against man. Cuts, and we still got shedded, man. But as you see, he gets in a really cool position. So just for the purpose of this video, um, cause I just really wanna show you this route. We're not blitzing anybody. Um, we're literally not blitzing anybody cause I just, I, I can't rely on the blocking. Uh, from practice mode. But anyway, what you'll see here, back corner, that's what we're looking for. Cuts to the sideline. Now, um, 
man coverage is a little wonky. I will say man coverage is the best at guarding that route. So my recommendation would be to have something in your arsenal that you can call that's going to be able to beat man to man because man to man is the best that I've seen against this, this concept. The one thing I will also say though, is typically that receiver is going to get this cut. So gets that cut left, wait now throw it and that's where you get that little body animation um and i'm high pointing and passing that side so there's there's no chance that they can get out there and cover me okay now i want to show you this against match coverage i don't see a lot of match coverage in the red zone but if you do get match coverage um this absolutely cooks it just pass lead it just like man coverage as you see you get that nice basket catch animation on that outside so you're able to beat match, you're able to beat uh, cover two, cover three, uh, really easily. Cover two man, like I said, or, or press man is probably the hardest to beat. But typically, like I said, once he cuts to the left, just get the ball outside and then make that secure catch and you're gonna be consistent against man as well. So you're beating man, cover two, cover three, cover four match. And now let me show you cover four drop. Now what I will say about cover four drop is cover four drop, in my opinion, is the best um, is the best defense for this. So that's where, you know, streaking the running back or just doing something. But take a look at this against cover four. Just pass lead that. You see that right there. So what you have to do is it's a little bit different of a pass lead against cover four drop than it is against like cover three. Okay. Uh, most, most of the coverages are really good in terms of like just pass leading it, you know, up into the outside. This one, you really have to almost pass lead it down in the outside. And you see there, we're able to get it. Uh, we're really just trying to get that ball as outside as we can. Like I said, though, cover four creates a little bit of an interesting dilemma. One thing you can do to kind of make it a little bit better is streak your running back. Um, you'll see with this running back streak, it kind of pulls those deep blues in, and then I can easily throw that on the sideline. So that's kind of the the you know the real money play, in my opinion, within this offense, because you just simply streak the running back, which is already hard to stop. A running back streak in the red zone is already hard to stop, and then you can combine that with you know something like something like this right here, honestly. Real simple setup, um, but what you'll see is again, pass lead that to the left, get that nice little or, um, secure catch on the outside. So this is one of my favorite red zone money plays. And for those of you that wanna learn the gun bunch, it's the best offense in the game. I would encourage you to sign up. It's completely for free. You can learn this offense or at least a good part of it completely for free by signing up for my text message membership. All you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. We got a one hour breakdown on the guide. If you are watching and you want to just get the full gun bunch guide that I have over six hours of content on every single bunch in the game, that link will be a down below. Um, my phone number is also below in the description as well, but the link for the guide will be in the description as well for you. But if you want to just try it out, te text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I release free one-hour scheme breakdowns every single week in the text message membership. So far, we've done two. We've got our 335 odd. We've got our bunch. Next week, we're probably going to be putting the 335 wide in there. So I would encourage you, if you've not signed up for that, it's super uh, it's super effective and it's super cheap or it's literally free. So text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and I'll shoot you that one hour uh, breakdown on 335 odd and I'll also shoot you that one hour breakdown on the gun bunch.